Okay, I think we are all good. Hi, we are back. And I think everything is good. Apparently we have already dropped 17 frames. <laughs> I don't know where they went. But hi, we are back. <laughs> I hope everyone is having a good day. I'm sorry. A bit muddled again this morning, but we are back. Hi. And hopefully this should be the last weft. Fingers crossed, because everything that we've done so far has left us with a thick mass of wefts. And haven't had a good look for it last night. I don't know, I just feel like this is probably enough. I think any more going on my head might be a bit much. <laughs> just like a little bit, just a little bit too much. Um, so hopefully, hopefully this is pretty good. We shall see, we shall see. I have my fingers crossed. <laughs> it's difficult to tell of course, it's, it's not something that I'm used to so we shall see. But I, I, have, I have hope, I have hope. So yeah, fingers crossed last weft which we started pinning yesterday so it has already been started uh yeah we shall be finishing pinning this tomorrow uh not tomorrow today finish pinning this today we started pinning it yesterday and then we will sew all this on put it next to all the other wefts now this is going to be a slightly shorter stream today so i don't think that we'll necessarily switch to main cam i don't think we'll necessarily get to the point of pinning everything on and to the, the wig cap, which I did find, uh, getting it all pinned onto the wig cap and everything like that today. But, you know, we'll get at the very least all the wefts done, <laughs> which is the hard bit. And then maybe we get to actually making the wig next week, which you know what, that's fine. That's fine. If we don't get it all done in one day, as far as I'm concerned, that's okay. That's okay. Sometimes it'll take more than one day. And that's all right in my mind. Um, yeah, you know what? You know what? That's fine. So yeah, we started this yesterday. Finished this today. I think I'll probably end up in the stream. Sorry that it is going to be a slightly shorter stream today. It is just because, unfortunately, I'm not super, super well today. And I don't know. I just kind of want to take it a little bit easy. Like, I'm not, I'm not sick. I've just been kind of fainty this morning. And... You know, I'm sitting still, so I feel absolutely fine now. But because I've got this trip to Hobbycraft later, I kind of want to rest up and be well. <laughs> I want to enjoy going to Hobbycraft later, and I don't want to feel fainty anymore. Um, so yeah, I think I'll be fine. I'm not. I'm not normally a fainty person. No, I think not normally a fainty person. I. I normally am a fainty person. This is very normal for me. <laughs> but also. Yeah, I'd rather not, not be fainty when going to Hobbycraft. Shrimp, hi, how are you doing? Welcome. I hope you're having a good day. My headphones are trying to fall off already. No, no falling. We need you on here. Oh dear. Gotta, gotta fix, fix the faintiness before midday, ideally. Or, well no, before mid-afternoon, ideally, because that's when we want to leave. That's when the weather picks up. Right now, we got really heavy rainfall. Once again in we in Wales, heavy rain. Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought? <laughs> but um, yeah. <laughs> Ideally, fix the fainty. Feel better by afternoon. That's okay though. You know what? I feel like I've done quite a bit of streaming this week so far. I would have been a bit sad if I hadn't done any at all today. And if I get the, if I can get, if I can get the, the this bit done, that'd be good. 3:30 a.m. Squad. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, squid. That's grim. Oh, that's grim. Oh, it's so early, but I believe in you. You, you, you're doing great. Oh, I made a high, casually big 3 a.m. for me. That is. Even grimmer. Oh, I couldn't. I couldn't. Oh, I had a bit of a rough night last night as well. Like, and again, this is I'm just tying into being a bit fainty today. But like, um, I was up maybe like four or five times last night. Um, like just waking up a lot. Just waking up a lot. Um, just not feeling great. And yeah, that's enough for me. I don't think I would have tuned into a stream though. <laughs> I just woke up and was like, yeah, I feel a bit dizzy. Oh, just feeling a little bit dizzy. And then went back to sleep again. Oh dear, maybe I should get some soup. You're right, maybe I should get some soup. I was gonna get a milkshake, 
because I was like, that would that would probably help. <laughs> you know when you're feeling trash and you're like, as a lactose intolerant person, I should really add some milk to this. That's gonna make me feel oh so much better. Um Because I know that there's a there's a I think there's a McDonald's right next to the hobby craft. <laughs> And oh, I've been craving that McDonald's milkshake because again, I don't, I, I have not been to a McDonald's in a long time. I'm gonna get that McDonald's milkshake. Of course, they only do takeaway, but that's perfect because I wasn't planning on staying in there anyway. I just want to get the Mc McDonald's milkshake. I love that strawberry milkshake. Oh, that would have been great. Oh, I really want a milkshake, man. I really want a milkshake too. I mean, milkshake and soup. Is it not just a milk soup? They're basically the same, right? Just getting that milky soup. Oh, that kind of sounds grim like that, but like, oh. That cursed milky soup. <laughs> that t does make my stomach hurt, but. Oh, pretty good though. <laughs> oh. Thing is, if I'm getting that, I'll probably also get some uh, fries or chips as well because. I do like Duncan, Duncan the fries and the milkshake. It's just a really nice, incredibly, I guess, not great, but like really tasty snack. Like popping, popping them fries in that milkshake. Mm. Mm. It's so good though. They knew what they were doing when they made those two menu items. Mm, they're good. Yeah, it's good. You too, you too. Oh. The only thing is, I feel like whenever I I go in, it's either the milkshake or it's the ice cream. One of them's always broken. <laughs> I hope it's the ice cream one that's broken today, because I don't really want ice cream. But damn, do I want milkshake? It's kind of, it's raining today, so I, I that's why I'm like, you know, ice cream. Eh. I like I dip things in ice cream fine, but like I'm not really feeling it today because it is raining pretty hard and it's it's not exactly a warm day today. But the milkshake I will I'm happy to eat on a on a cold day. It is eating as well because it's thick. I don't know why because they're they're very similar at the end of the day. I think it's also because they don't really do a strawberry ice cream at the McDonald's near us, so it's like. Oh. I'm a strawberry ice cream kind of person. I love strawberry. This, this, that fake strawberry flavor, that, that's for me. That was made for me. I love it. Ginger ale is my go-to sick drink. Oh. See, I probably would love that, <laughs> but I, I, I've never had it. <laughs> I love ginger. I love ginger in basically everything, but I've never really had ginger ale. So I, I don't, I don't, I don't know that I like it or not, but I love ginger in basically everything, so I can only assume that I would like it. And yeah, but like, mild dizziness probably would feel quite nice with that, just having a bit of ginger ale. I forgot a cup of tea. Again, none of my cups of tea have caffeine, I'm <laughs> just putting it out there. I always drink decaf, but uh, I also have a lot of water. <laughs> I've been drinking a lot of water, but... And also, yeah, again, just bring it out there. I do. I get fainty a lot. It's it's not it's not just a sudden thing that's happened. I'm, I'm a faint. I'm a fainty lady. <laughs> but it's it's never nice. But you know, you wake up and you're like, today's gonna be a good day, and then you immediately hit the floor. <laughs> and you're like, it's one of those days. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. And now I have to be careful with myself because I don't know if... Again, I'm, I'm sat down doing streams so I'll be fine because it only ever hits me when I stand up and it's like, I ain't standing up, but... <laughs> when I do eventually get up from stream, I just have to be a little bit careful. Make sure that I have a seat near me, which of course I do, but like... <laughs> so I can sit immediately back down again. It's just such a pain! <clears throat> it's just such a pain! That, that's mainly what it is. I just have those days where it's like every now and again it's like your body's gonna be like do you fancy just consistently going over in one day ah i guess so i guess i do fancy that today 
It's fine. I eat a lot of salty things, and then, and then I'm kind of and and a lot. I, I eat a lot of salty things, but I also just eat a lot, <laughs> and then I end up being okay. Normally, it's also just a, a really good excuse to order like a Chinese takeaway or something like that. <laughs> it's like I'm better. We fixed it. Woohoo! Oh, but um, yeah. It's just not super nice when you actually just start it. You're not expecting it. <laughs> like I said, I do like a good Chinese takeaway. I haven't had one for a while, actually. I love cookie dough blizzards from Dairy Queen. See, Dairy Queen, I don't have a Dairy Queen near me. Probably a good thing because I'd probably like it and then I'd end up ordering from there a lot. And the the fact that it's got dairy in the title sounds like it's gonna hurt me a lot. <laughs> I probably would like it and then I'd I'd hurt myself. <laughs> but I do love cookie dough. We have a place called Casper's and um, one or two other places that they do do some like cookie dough style things. And there is a place near us actually. No, I tell a lie. There's one other place near us which does do some cookie dough. And that was pretty good. Um, I can't for the life of me remember what it's called though. Oh, what is it called? I might have to look it up. It's it. I say it's near me. It's not near me. When I when I visit friends that live near Cardiff, they can order it because the place is in Cardiff. So I can't order it from my house, but I can order it if I visit friends near Cardiff. I can't order it. And that that place is good. Um, but oh. Yeah, it's just cookie dough and you can order it with cream or ice cream and that, that was that's pretty good. I, I like that. I do like just cookie dough. Um actually, yeah, no, I do love just cookie dough actually. I I love it. Me too though. Mm. Oh, distinct, hi, how you doing, Mr. Distinct? I hope you're having a lovely day. We're doing a slightly shorter stream today, so we're probably just gonna make the one weft rather than doing the whole the whole wig piece. But hopefully, this should be the last weft. The last of the wefts. Fingers crossed. Oh dear, I haven't had Chinese takeout in months. I, I really like Chinese takeout, but during the lockdown, a lot of the Chinese takeouts, as, as well as a lot of other places, but we don't have too many near us. Unfortunately, a lot of them had to close near us during that time. I'm not sure if it was because of supply or staffing or anything, but a lot of them just straight up closed and they couldn't even do takeaway. So we had a good amount of time where we couldn't even, unfortunately, like, you know, order from them at all. And we were trying to like, a couple every couple weeks or every month order from somewhere just to like you know the places that we like near us order from them and we couldn't order from our local Chinese because unfortunately they had to close down during that time but since then whenever I'm having a day like this where I'm a bit fainty um, that's the place we order from. Ah uh, zero hi how's it going? Garbage locks. It's going well thank you. Um, having a bit, bit, a, bit of a sick day but uh, we, we're good. Just, just having one of those days where you wake up and immediately hit the floor. <laughs> but other than that, it's, it's actually fine. Fine. <laughs> you know, I'm one of those people where I have those days. <laughs> and it, it's quite normal. <laughs> but I'm actually pretty good. Oh dear. Yeah, it sucks. I, I think quite a few, um, I don't know if it's maybe just because they're a smaller business or they were all smaller businesses, but quite a few... Um, of the small businesses near us uh, had to close during certain parts of the lockdown. Not the whole way through the lockdown, uh, bear in mind, but like the first two months of the lockdown, they completely closed. They just straight up closed. Um, I don't know if it was because of staffing or because of like supply or stuff like that, uh, but they just they just weren't able to open at all, which really sucked. Uh, fortunately, uh, pretty much everything is now open. They've, they've managed to come back and they seem to be doing good now. I mean, at the end of the day, they were loved. We we like we like our local Chinese takeaways and stuff like that, so that was good. We don't have any takeaways here at all, Mr. Stink. No, I am sorry to hear that. It sucks. My phone bleeped at this hour. Could it be so jelly going live? How dare you make my phone bleep, Melia Zay? I'm sorry. I did the bleeps also I can see a horn. Repair. Maybe I'll get an Indian take. Ah, oh, Indian takeaways. They are probably my favourite overall. I just love the variety. 
<laughs> but it's the one we get the most often. I also really like spicy food, so big fan. Big fan. Oh dear, yeah, I was on day two. Had a headache early, then I had to fill out some government forms, which is a headache onto itself. Good now, though. Oh, okay. I'm glad you're feeling better. I'm sorry that you also had a dodgy day. Maybe, maybe it's just today. Today was is meant to be a dodgy day for many people. Oh, there is there is a horn. Oh, and a portal check. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I did a couple things last night when I was still feeling good because I was like, I want to add the portal check because my back has been oh after some of the longer sessions. Thank you for the pasta check. We are too rural for food delivery, no. <laughs> See, we're quite lucky. We're, we're too rural for like a fair few, but we've still got like our local Chinese and our local Indian and like one or two other places. Like we don't get like, you know, a McDonald's, <laughs> but like we have a, uh, we have we have local like family run businesses and things like that and that's been good and and so that that's you know we, we got something we can order from and they're, they're actually really really good as well so it's just a shame of course during the lockdown whatever happened happened and they, they couldn't open and oh uh, but fortunately they seem to be doing very well now that's good i mean i see that i see them delivering a lot Clearly, people still love them. I mean, they're very good. <laughs> uh, oh, I hope you feel better soon. Thank you, Mr. Stink. I'm, sh I, I'm sure I will, literally. I hope Zero feels better soon, too. Um, I mean, whenever I have, like, a fainty day, it's always, like, it's a day. It it's one day where I'm, like, I wake up, I feel like trash, and then throughout the day, I feel better. Normally, the more that I eat throughout the day, the better I feel. <laughs> It's just, and then we'll like order something really salty at the end of the day, like like a Chinese takeaway, and we'll get lo loads of that. I'll eat tons, and then I'm like, "Yep, now I'm good. That's what I needed." And yeah, by the next day, I'm like, "Yeah, pretty pretty good." It's just a, you know, the first time I get, I actually like faint. I'm a bit like, "Oh, that was a surprise. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that." <laughs> That's it. I think I'm missing one. Yeah, missing one there. Oh dear. I don't think I would have McDonald's delivered. Yeah, to be fair, actually, I don't think I would have McDonald's delivered. It's more like sometimes if you're doing a really late shift at work, it's useful if you can go back after work or something. Or like, for instance, sometimes um, when we did live near one, if uh, I did a really early shift and Shiny did a night shift, we would sometimes meet there in the middle between shifts so we could see each other because like he did night shifts i did day shifts and we wouldn't we'd be like passing ships even though we lived together that was sometimes nice and we'd be in the mcdonald's because it would be like one of the only 24 hour places that was open um but like literally that was it <laughs> uh i think our closest place is an hour away mr distinct whoa that is that is very rural jesus that must be a nightmare when it comes to like if you have birthdays or anything like that and you want to go out to get a meal or something. Oh dear. I didn't end up getting any takeaway delivery food for months. Things were locked down here. I can cook alright so I stuck to that. No people who are getting Uber Eats quite a bit during that time. I think it was, yeah, shit type you can't cook. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of similar in that like I, I've always been someone who cooks a lot anyway. Um, I, 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 but then I, it's because I enjoy cooking. Um, for me, it's, it's always been something that I found quite relaxing near the end of the day, is to cook. I like bulk cooking too, because I find it to be a lot cheaper. Um, but we do like um, getting a takeaway every, maybe like, month, every two weeks, something like that. So getting like a nice, a nice takeaway from somewhere. Um, and you know, we have the places that we like to eat at. Um, and... Oh, yeah, they were good. And they are good. <laughs> and also, like, visiting, if you're, like, you happen to have, like, a board game night or something like that, I don't tend to make a large amount of food for that. I, you know, I might have snacks, but it's easier if we can order food for them <laughs> normally, because <laughs> it's, it's a lot of people and I'm just not... I want to enjoy board games too. <laughs> uh... 
the things like that it's useful but of course during lockdown that come into effect of course we couldn't have people around for that sort of thing but yeah so sometimes i guess we would have take away more than that because we would have people over Yeah, during the lockdown we did we tried but yeah they were definitely the first the first maybe month or so couple months we didn't really order out and then but also there wasn't really anywhere we could order out to so or take get take away from so i was like well <laughs> we're not gonna order out if there's nowhere to get order out from at the moment we have to book tesco six weeks in advance yeah we never <laughs> We never got food delivery. We still don't. Well, we we used to because um, at where we used to live, um, if if we wanted to do the pick up food, it was difficult for Shiny, the boyfriend, to go do it because of his work schedule. And when I did it, every time I went and actually did the food shop, I'd give myself a migraine by doing it. And so we were like, well, physically I can go do the food shop. This is all before the lockdown. Bear in mind. I'd give myself a migraine every time. So we were someone who did that. Um, every week we, we had it delivered to us because we didn't want me to be getting migraines every time I did the food shop. But then of course um, the lockdown came in and they were like, you know, don't do it unless you can't get the food any other way. And we moved house and uh, Shiny started working from home and he was like, well, you know, I, I can go get the food if, if that's the case. So now he goes and gets the food. <laughs> <laughs> because um yeah there's like such a long wait list for it for starters and also when the one time we did consider doing it, it you know there was so little in stock online and you know i didn't I, I don't know it was just like one of those things where i was like i i don't know if like this I, this is good I, I don't know should i be doing this and so i was like i maybe i shouldn't um so i decided not to and then even before I decided not to, they'd removed half the things out of my basket anyway. So this is like right in the beginning of the lockdown where things weren't really very optimized, but they had removed half the things out of my basket before I'd even, it was it was quite disorganized. And um, yeah, it was <laughs> and half the things I'd ordered, bear in mind, were not food because we would just moved house. So they were things like aluminium foil. <laughs> so I was just looking to, and like a dustpan and brush stuff that we didn't move with basically because they had it at the old house and we needed it in the new house and it just, I, <laughs> I and it wasn't stuff people were bulk buying i didn't think but there we are apparently nope no dustpan and brush for us i still don't think we have a dust no no we do have a dustpan and brush now it's just a really large one but um yeah <laughs> It was, it was it was an odd time so now yeah shiny good does it it's, it's weird it's weird <laughs> i usually have people around here for board games we usually walk and dine in somewhere that'd be good unfortunately there isn't really a lot of dine-in places super close to us in the evenings we have like cafes and stuff like that but there aren't a lot of restaurant options uh for dine-in it, it's it's a small area so it's like i don't know uh we have like pubs but yeah it's a bit a bit of a walk bit of a walk uh i could honestly go through a thing of cheese puffs right now mm. i get on board with that i get on board with that cheese puffs anytime <laughs> yeah i can't go and see the market either thanks to mark uh mark grains my grains <laughs> yeah it, it was always like the, the 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 supermarket itself for me was okay it was the physically carrying the things back that really got me and i'd get home and about um normally an hour or two later i'd start getting a migraine it was like it was like a routine every time and it was like sometimes it wouldn't be that bad sometimes it'd be really bad and on the off chance it was a really bad one it was like really not worth it <laughs> oh but yeah pain pain why do it not worth it so yeah those 
things might not have been things that others were hoarding, but rather things that supermarkets weren't prioritized bringing for the suppliers. If they are, oh, yeah, keep up to damn with the, the, the essentials. That is true. That is true. They just probably weren't priorities for a lot of people. They probably prioritized things, things like pastas and, and toilet rolls and stuff like that. That is probably the case. Whereas me, it was just like, I moved house and I really need, like, honestly, just like toilet duck and stuff like that, please. <laughs> Like just, just normal household stuff. Oh my god. Jeez. They don't have shopping carts? They do have shopping carts. It was the stuff to get it because uh, because we don't have a car. So I had to walk uh, the shopping stuff from the shopping centre back to my house. Um, and that, that was the bit that, uh, that would normally we think cause the migraines. Um, and yeah. It wasn't even a super, super long walk. It was only like 20 minutes, <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're pretty we're pretty sure that's what got me, unfortunately. I mean, sometimes even if my backpack's too heavy, <laughs> being that that careful line of when is it too much? Ah, that's when it's too much when it gives you the migraine. <laughs> but it's okay. We're pretty good at treading that line at this point. As you can probably tell by the fact that I stream pretty regularly and then like, I don't have too many migraines that are like completely out of the control. <laughs> You're pretty good at this point. I mean, also it helps that I'm also on like medication that does it work for me pretty well. Um, and I do have preventatives that work pretty okay. So. That all helps as well, but also knowing what <laughs> makes them start <laughs> helps. <laughs> oh dear. I walk my groceries home too, so I have a limit of what to buy and carry. Can't get laundry detergent and milk in the same shop. Yeah. So like, you know, milk really does hinder you somewhat. <laughs> especially especially because we get through so much because of like tea. We get through so much milk. Maybe you should get a bike with a cargo rack. Um, so we have a, you know, I don't know what to call them, shopping trolleys, uh, like the, the wheelie ones. We have a wheelie trolley, uh, with, it's like a little tartan one that you drag behind you when you shop. We have one of those. <laughs> and um, even with that, even with that, uh, it still unfortunately was too much. <laughs> even with the wheelie tartan trolley. Uh, yeah. Ah, oh, shifty ad word, ad word, invalid parameter specified, possible parameters add, de delete, edit, shopping cart. Is that what it's called, a shopping cart? I always called it a wheelie trolley, but uh, yeah, it, it could be a shopping cart, yeah. That would honestly make more sense. Just my little wheelie tartan trolley. I love it though. I love, I love the wheelie tartan trolley. It squeaks as well. <laughs> when you put lots of stuff in it, it squeaks. <laughs> You know when you've overfilled it because it'll be like ee, 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 and you'll be like nah, that's too much milk <laughs> but yeah we have a little wheelie behind us trolley uh to help with the the larger shops <laughs> we got that i think because it also helps as well because if i'm getting a bit dizzy i can sort of just lean on it so that's been really useful <laughs> honestly it's so handy <laughs> I love my little, I love my little wheelie trolley. I've, I put the stuff in it, and then I wheel it behind me. And if if I get a bit dizzy, I lean on my wheelie trolley. It's great. <laughs> oh, so handy! I can put so much stuff in it. It's got an extra pocket for my phone. <laughs> oh, I love the wheelie trolley. Wheelie trolley is the best. <laughs> I think it does probably need a bit. Something happened with the wheels though. <laughs> One of the wheels definitely isn't super great. I think it's because we used to live on a really, really steep hill. And I think <laughs> it didn't like that. Not only was it steep, it was also like not great. So I think a lot of pressure went on one of the wheels for a while. And I don't think it liked that. Is a trolley for those two wheeled things? I can't remember what we called them. 
for you those yeah it's they've got two wheels and then it's got a support on one side so you know if you stand it upright it doesn't go off on its own so it's just got two wheels and then like a little like leany thing so you can put your weight on it and it's fine but then you can drag it behind you and it's got like a it's got like a waterproof thing and it's like tall and tartan and i love it <laughs> and you can fit like a good amount of shopping in it again it doesn't like too much weight but like yeah it's good it's good oh small bat hi how you doing a horn we can do some horns <laughs> It's also pretty helpful like if you're going fabric shopping <laughs> or any other kind of slightly larger goods shopping or if you've got like a big package to deliver put it in the wheelie trolley it around with you because <laughs> it, it fits quite a large amount of stuff in it just put it in the wheelie trolley and wheel it around with you and it does take the weight off your shoulders a bit and it means you can take breaks very easily without having to worry about putting your goods on the floor <laughs> they're just in the trolley and you can lean on it too oh, advertising wheelie trolleys wheelie trolleys just great. <laughs> they do they do cost a little bit though. I don't think ours was too expensive. I think ours was maybe like 25 quid. Um so it's pretty cheap. Pretty cheap, but like uh Dolly? We call them a dolly. A dolly? Wait, really? A do do you? Oh my god. Wait. If I type that in, will I find them? <gasps> oh wait, no, wait. This is similar, but it's not quite. I typed into Google. It's similar, but it's not quite. Because they like they've not got the bag attached to them. Ah, oh, then they, they've meant to have like a little bag attached to them, with like a drawstring on it, like a little, like a little. Hmm. It's got to have like a little drawstring bag on it. But it's similar to that. It is definitely similar. You knew them as a dolly as well? Wait, but they're meant to have like a little drawstring bag on them. And when I type in dolly into Google, because dolly's a really cute name for them. But when I type that into Google, it, it just shows me like the frame, but it doesn't show me the drawstring bag. And the drawstring bag is arguably the cutest part of them. That's the bit that you can like, oh, a shopping dolly. Oh, okay, maybe that's where I'm getting it wrong. Okay, that, that would make sense. A shopping dolly. That is a cute name. Yes. I do I do like my shopping. Very handy. Put packages in it. I can fit fabric in it. You know, if I take that to B and Q, I can fit a lot of bits and bobs in that. Oh, it's good. It's good stuff. <laughs> uh, I hate when people leave their grandma basket in the middle of the aisle as they grab stuff from the shelves. I'll be honest, I hate it when people leave anything in the middle of the aisle <laughs> as they grab stuff from the shelves. Like, excuse me, I have my big trolley. I'm trying to maneuver it. Please put yourself to one side. Because that's kind of like the etiquette, right? It's uh, You're meant to put yourself on one side. Put yourself to the side while you grab stuff. <laughs> oh dear. Do me. I mean, I always keep my shopping weekly behind me. It just stays behind me the entire time because I might use it to balance. <laughs> like, it's not, it's not leaving my side. It stay with me. It stay with me at all times, it's very handy, and it's not leaving my side. But, yeah, I guess other people might not feel that same way about it. But I just think it's so useful to balance on. 
I looked up shopping dolly. It had a cage and one had a bag. Oh, okay. Yeah, it has your bag. Oh dear. They are putting themselves to one side. The middle one. No! No, the middle one is not a side. Oh dear. <laughs> the cap. God damn it. <laughs> oh, so yeah. I don't have many pins left again. This happened last time. I didn't have very many pins left. Look at me. I have to be more, more careful with the amount of pins that I use. Really, I am using too many pins at some point. And then I get to the end. I don't have as many pins left as I would like. Oh, dear. This is no good. This is no good. Oh. Right, put that out there. And... Put that in there. Right, this should be the first side of this one. And then we just need to turn it over and pin the other side, but I'll sew this one first. Otherwise <laughs> that's going to get really difficult. <laughs> Let's not make my life more difficult than it needs to be. There we go. Right, that's all pinned. That looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Right. First side. Last weft, hopefully. <laughs> oh, that was a bit of a clunk. Are you alright there? Is it just because I haven't turned this on for today? Shouldn't be. It should be fine. Okay. Alright. Let's start sewing up these ones. Carefully. I think the other thing I like about <laughs> the shopping dollies, which I will try and adopt that name now because that is a very cute name and I, you know, I want to call them by their proper name. By the shopping dollies is <laughs> if you're going up a hill it really it really just takes that stress of the hill off of you like all the weight in the dolly just puts it onto the dolly i really like that big fan of that maybe this is just because again like we did used to live like at the top of a valley um which is quite quite a quite a hefty hill but like trying to bring shopping up that was always a nightmare absolute nightmare but with the with the dolly so much better i mean it was still hell but like it was so much better it, it made that part of it a lot lot better oh dear is it me or is the sewing machine slightly out of focus oh we're doing this again yeah you, you, it's not you I, I, it yep give me two seconds i fixed this Sorry, I forgot to open the camera. Here we go. Here we go. We'll fix this. Sorry about this. I know what this is. Any minute now. Sorry, I won't be able to see chat for a second because I'm just loading the camera. And hopefully, this will do it. Look better now. We good? Oh, dear. Do you have pop tarts in the UK? Yeah, we have pop tarts. My kids love them. Yeah, we have some, some pop tarts. But I don't know. I don't feel like we get the full range of pop tarts. Um, we get some pop tarts. Some, some of the pop tarts. But I don't think we have all of the pop tarts. We receive some of them. It's kind of like with many things I feel like we get from the US so like we get like a uh, like some of the flavors maybe like some of the more popular ones like the original and a few others but like I don't think we get like a full range of flavors on them and like any of the newer ones like probably not oh dear Ick. have a nice cup of tea <laughs> all fixed thank you yeah when um if I don't load up the software for the camera I it, it doesn't remember the settings and so it puts it on this weird focusing thing. Also, hi Dem, how are you doing? Please enjoy your cup of tea. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. I, 
actually know why the camera does that. I, I've never really thought to question it. It just, it just if, if, I, if I don't do it, it does that. Yeah. I mean, it's still better than the old one, so I guess I forgive it. Go. Just keep carefully stitching. Whoa, there we go. Nice. Some of the. Oh, I was gonna say some of the pins that like they're about to get thrown at me. Q pin getting thrown. <laughs> Not the pin I was looking at, to be fair, but like it is a pin getting thrown, so I'll take it. This is what happens when you pin them all so close together. They're just like. I'm done being in the fabric. I want freedom. There we go. I slept three hours past the latest I wanted to start stream, but I wasn't feeling well. Wait, Dem, you too? Oh no, Dem, I'm sorry that you weren't feeling well. Oh my god, that's three people now who have not had a good... What has happened? Oh dear, I'm sorry that you weren't feeling well. Please feel better soon. What has happened? What What is this? There is something happening. Can you spread something through Twitch? <laughs> can Twitch Can Twitch spread disease? <laughs> oh, <d> <laughs> Even though I think we've, we've all felt rubbish in completely different ways. <laughs> oh dear, because Zero felt ick, I fainted, and you you feel ick, but you feel better now, which is good. Oh dear. What is hap? What is hap? Oh. Deary me. That's no good. Oh yeah, it's fine. This happens a lot. Um, it, it's like, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fainty dizzy lady, but it's alright. But. Clearly there is something being passed in these streams. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well hopefully I don't leave stream today. It's going to be a shorter stream by the way. We're only going to make the weft because I, you know, playing it safe just to be on the safe side but like, it is, it, this is quite common for me. But like, yeah. Two meters folks. Yeah, please don't get within two meters of this stream. <laughs> We're staying safe. Oh dear. Yeah, it's not good. Everyone, look after themselves. Health. Please be health. Uh. Theory me. Whether the current weather for jelly in Wales conditions are rain. <laughs> Would you look at that? It's raining in Wales. Oh dear, the wind is blowing at 13 miles an hour and the humidity is 96%. I think AdWord per curse on the mods. It's almost full, it is almost full. AdWord scissor our hands. Oh god, yeah, look at that. In bad parameters specified, possible parameters, add, delete, and edit. Oh, you AdWord, you always know what to say that makes me feel better. Uh, AdWord could not be a curse. Could not be. Just look at look at that cheeky smile. Oh, AdWord. <laughs> I still want to stream. I just don't want to continue Ghost of Shimia as most of my regulars will either be asleep or soon will be. Yeah, so this is. Yeah, I feel that. <laughs> um, could you play like Fall Guys or something like that instead? Just do like a little fun stream, especially if you're not feeling super great. Play something that will make you feel like a bit more like, you know, just chill and relaxed and happy. Because, you know, you say you feel okay-ish now, but if you want to still stream but you don't feel like 100%, would that be a bit better maybe? Something a bit more like, relaxed. Although with that being said, I don't know how relaxed you are with Fall Guys. Some people take it very seriously. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. Add word. <laughs> oh. 
if I ever get another remote, I feel like, I feel like, <laughs> go and be ad word. I'm not too serious with it. Okay, you're you're not a serious a serious fool guy, <laughs> a serious fooler. <laughs> Needle seems to be a bit high. Let's put that down there. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that might be a nice one. I mean, I was almost tempted, but then I was like, that's probably not a good idea, because I'm still a bit like, you know. Well, I, I don't <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna make me feel better in the long run. I don't know if I've consumed enough salt just yet. Although that being said, maybe I would actually playing Fall Guys consume more salt. <laughs> oh dear. But um, yeah, to play something quite so bright and colourful. But I was I was tempted to just like do a Fall Guys stream today. So I was like feeling a bit ick, maybe I'll just do Fall Guys. But I was like, nah, I think this would probably make me happier. Just, just finishing the one weft and then calling it a day. Uh, it was temp. It, it it was it do be tempting though. <laughs> I'm considering and learning a bit more of Rimworld on stream. But on stream this time, that'd be really cool. Ooh, ooh. I am playing a bit now. There we have the the serious fool, the serious fooler. Someone who. Who has all of the pro strats? I mean, I don't know if you're serious about it, though. To be fair, I just know that you're good at it. <laughs> I just know that you have all the skills. We want so much fun. Have you played it on stream at all, Shifty? Or is it just one that you you play play? <laughs> has none of the skills. Also has no skills. <laughs> no skills at all. Still no crowns. But I'm gonna set it up again tonight. Um, again, probably feel a bit better by that point. And then I am going to practice. Cause practice harder and harder. <laughs> I mean, I'm serious. I'm ser I'm serious about getting better at this game. I will show a win at some point. And it's gonna become I'm gonna I'm gonna highlight it and be like champion 10 out of 10 best player <laughs> at some point it's one one not serious just all right at it yeah just all right at it <laughs> as far as I'm concerned you're the best person I know at the game everyone else I know is like I've had one win maybe two wins maybe that and you're over here like sporting nearly as many like i admit like half the wins there are levels it's crazy oh no wins today played four games and took the l every time came second in my first game looked up the end of hexagon hexagon's difficult like there are some very good players at that one i get very stressed out at that game as well like i i really struggle to keep my cool at it i recognize that in that game it is it, it's completely on me where i'm not good at it I really struggle to maintain composure. Uh, I think that's going to be my practice on that one. I really wish there was some sort of practice mode on some of them though, where you could maybe, I don't know, even if it's just playing against bots, um, that'd be good. Uh, I guess that would make it more competitive though if you had that. But on games like Hexagon, I really would like to practice just like the jumping around a lot because I very rarely get to the point where I get to actually play Hexagon and so I have very very little practice at not panicking as soon as I get that far <laughs> and so as soon as I get to Hexagon if that's the game that it picks I just instantly panic and I'd really like it if I get that far and not instantly panic but to do that I think I need to practice a bit more which means that I need to you know keep getting that far which it seems unlikely to me. Uh, are you going to play on stream tonight? No. Uh, because because I wasn't great this morning. Uh, so I didn't sleep great last night. I kept waking up feeling really dizzy. And then of course this morning I actually full on. Well, it was literally like I woke up and I was like, today's going to be a good day. Smack. 
<laughs> so um, I'm gonna look after myself a bit more today. Um, I wanted to do a short stream and finish this because otherwise I think I would have been really sad. Um, and you know, mental health be important too to an extent. Like I do want to keep doing things and doing a short stream where I'm fully sat down, fine, but I also don't want to push it and stream any more than doing like a short stream this morning, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's gonna be enough. <laughs> um, just a little stream. Oh, Remedy, thank you for the follow. It's very kind. Oh, how fitting. <laughs> oh, dear, I hope you're having a good day today. Oh. Oh, uh, again, to people that aren't normally regulars in the chat or don't know, I am a fainty lady anyway. I have been a fainty lady for a long time. I was a fainty teenager lady, and now I'm a fainty adult lady. Who would have guessed it? <laughs> Not me, to be fair. But here we are. I'm getting better at staying composed in hexagon, and no distracts for stalling. But I feel like I still need a bit of luck to put enough state to execute it. Yeah, this is the. <laughs> this is yeah. This is the thing. Is like getting a getting to that part where it's like as well because I might be quite composed in the first minute like when I'm on the first couple of layers but as I get lower in hexagon um, I, I really start to panic because I see there are less parts and when I need to start jumping between the levels that's where I really really struggle and I, I worry and when, when I get in my head about it and then you know yeah it starts to fall apart very very quickly I'm better than I used to be another Smashes mug on the floor. Ick. <laughs> yeah, for when you're feeling ick, Nightbot will offer you a cup of tea. I've, all, I've still got my cup of tea, so I don't need another one to start. <laughs> but I'll maybe, maybe get one later. Ah. Um, we still have three pins, four pins, five pins. Man, I'm really glad that they have the pride, the pride tea. Not only because I really like the actual emote, the pride tea emote is lovely, but also because it means that I can put tea emotes on everything. Oh, great. It's just great. It's just great. It's great for everything. It makes me very happy. Oh. go and I think that's just one more here right let's do the other side but I first need to trim up the layers right let's see what side do I want to be the bottom um what side do I want to be I think I want this side to be at the bottom actually I think this side looks better as the bottom I want some plain bits on the bottom because I've had a lot of colorful bits on the bottom ick too oh oh thank you I mean I'll continue to enjoy my lovely my cup of tea appreciate it that's very kind of you May I change the text colour for ick, like this one? You can absolutely change the colour of text for ick. You absolutely can. Go for it. I can do the slow stall and jump start for hex to hex to waste a lot of time, but it could be stressful, yeah. Hex, I think... I think I find hexagon the most stressful end of one. Like, the jumping one I like the most. I feel like I had the best chance in the jumping over the, the end. And Fall Mountain is is, is fine. I, I I don't mind it. I don't ever win it, but I don't mind it. Sir, hi! You're sleepy! That is fair. Hi, how you doing? You're having a good day, at least. Ah! Right. Where's my piece of paper? I know it's around here somewhere. There it is. <laughs> right, we need the half size one for this one, which means it goes to here. And we cut along. We don't cut along it, but we will be. Uh, this line. That's the line we want. So, put another pin. I woke up at 6 30 a.m. I am mad. I am not surprised. That is very early. I would also be mad if I had woken up. Well, actually I say that. I did wake up several times in the night, but if I had stayed awake at 6.30 in the morning, I would also be mad. That is, that's very early. Ew. Oh no, I'm fine. How are you doing? Um, well, I'm a bit 
a bit in the in the ich side of things today. So we're doing a slightly shorter stream today so that, you know, look after myself a bit. But other than that, my state of mind is very good. I'm, a, I'm in a positive mood and I'm happy. And I'm probably going to end up ordering a Chinese takeaway later and I'm going to up my salt intake. So yeah, we're good. I'm just a bit fainty. But other than that, I'm good. So yeah. Oh dear. Thank you! Oh my god. Now it's. Whoa. <gasps> purple. Is that purple? Or b I struggle with purple and blue a bit. Is that purple or is that blue? Very pretty. <laughs> not a good position to be in as someone who works with fabric. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's purple or blue. Chinese. Order some for me too! Get your orders in. What are we having? <laughs> <laughs> I like the uh, I like chicken noodle soup a lot. I like it as a starter. I just think it's like it really sets up for a meal. Not keen on prawn crackers though. You know, they they often come free. Not keen on them. I'll often if they come free with it, I'll just put a little note like I really appreciate that you're sending us free, free prawn crackers, but please don't add the free prawn crackers. They could go to someone else who actually enjoys them. Like I I don't want them. But I appreciate it, just please don't give us free porn crackers. It's purple. Okay, thank you. Jelly hair, really blue. Confirm. <laughs> you know what's kind of embarrassing? So the end bits are actually fading to blue. The rest of it is still green, but the very end is currently blue. So I think the rest of it is going to fade to blue. I'm going to have a burger. A burger. From the Chinese takeaway. <laughs> prawn crackers are god tier. No! You were wrong. But if you if we order it, you can have the prawn crackers. There you go. Oh dear, but where am I in for a scare? Deserted! Why am I in for a scare? Oh no. But I hope you're having a good day though. Prawn crackers? No, prawn crackers. Not prawn crackers. Prawn crackers. <laughs> oh no! I like to vary things. But always... Uh, Order Kolo Kai. As a, oh, I don't know that one. Kolo Kai is a side dish. Oh, I'm not sure about that one. Stream, you have to get going, but I hope everyone feels better. Yeah, we're sick chat today. <laughs> but we were so sick. <laughs> oh, thank you for hanging out there, Shrimp. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Ah, uh, shivering. Re I'm sorry, links are blocked in this chat. Ah, oh, dear. Thank you, porn crackers are fishy polystyrene. This is the thing, and they dry your mouth out so much. And also, because Chinese is very salty, the last thing you want is something that dries your mouth out. <laughs> porn, that really makes all sense. Thank you, Shifty. Yeah, it's porn crackers, not porn crackers. <laughs> porn. <laughs> no worries. Yeah, not porn crackers, it's prawn crackers. <laughs> no, it's prawn crackers, not porn crackers. Prawn. Listen, I realise they're very similar words, but I promise you I'm saying them differently. <laughs> prawn crackers, not porn crackers. There you go. Really heavy emphasis there. Prawn crackers, not porn crackers. <laughs> oh dear. I had two. Oh no! Oh, the cat woke up! Aww. That's okay. Cats are welcome. Oh dear. She thirsty. I'm not surprised with all this talk of Chinese takeaway. You want a nice nice pint of something? I have a pint of water. Let <laughs> Boring. Uh, or spicy lemonade, actually. Spicy lemonade. Got oh, ginger and mint in it. Very nice. We call them oyster crackers in the US, I think. The hexagon ones? No, they're normally like crazy shapes and they're quite large. Like hexagon? No, they're not in like specific shapes. They're just like crazy shapes and they're huge. Get over the tap for Oh, go for it, Sarara. You, you take care of the cat. You do this. In Greece, I used to go to the Indian Chinese restaurant and they did this starter side dish. It was like fried chicken in a sweet, Sauce with sesame seeds, it was delicious. Oh, that sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty good. I'm dead with that cracker stick. <laughs> wait, 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 which one? Oh no, 
if I knew the name, I'd order them more often. Did someone say hexagon porn crackers? Hexagon porn crackers. They're not. They're not hexagon. They're like. They're huge, and they're like. Oh god. getting called up on this oh wait <laughs> that's why <laughs> oh bless you oh auto mod <laughs> oh auto mod we're talking about prawn crackers <laughs> hexagon porn crackers they're not porn crackers they're prawn crackers <laughs> oh thanks auto mod oh, it's just <laughs> oh that's not on you that's not on you but we now have, what do we have added? And are we have, I don't know how I feel about that permitted term. <laughs> That's a good for you. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> That's good. Even Autumn was having a dodgy day today. You know, when you're just having a really, like, light-hearted time. <laughs> talking about broad crackers <laughs> and suddenly Autobot's like but wait <laughs> oh amazing almost more than <laughs> oh god yeah Autobot killed so many of us that we are almost more than <laughs> oh <laughs> dear Right, there we go. That is all the, the slits cross in this, cut in this, and now we can go onto the other side and <laughs> start pitting the other side. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Amazing. <laughs> right. Well, we'll do this side first, I think. I, was, I normally do the side furthest away. Let's do the side closest. Sorry. Yeah, deep fried. They are just like a big deep fried light <laughs> cracker here. Yeah. That's exactly what they are. They're just random shapes, basically. They're not. They're not. They're not any specific shape. Not like hexagons or anything like that. Um, that seems a bit too manufactured. Whereas here, they're also huge. Quite often, you get them in a like a plastic bag, <laughs> almost like a bag that you pick up vegetables in in the shops. They're just like given to you in a plastic bag like that, stuffed to like bursting. Um, and they'll often break apart in that bag because they're originally so large. And it looks like they just get chucked in in random shapes, and then they puff up, and then they just give them to you like that. And that's that's how the porn crackers are. Also, would be like the plot. Thing. <laughs> oh, it do be like that, but it do. Uh, yeah. So they're just they're just large things. They give them to you in a plastic bag, like uh, kind of like yeah, how you get your groceries occasionally, like loose vegetables, but it's prawn crackers, and yeah, it's just a, uh, and they break apart in the bag a bit. And then you can pull them out, maybe dip them in some sauce if you feel like it, maybe just eat them. And they suck all the moisture out of your mouth. And I just don't see the point in having them with a Chinese. Which is also incredibly salty meal. Yeah, like vegetables, but prawn crackers. And they're not prawn crackers, it's prawn crackers. God damn it. I'm gonna have to listen to this back and hear if my microphone is making it sound like I'm saying prawn crackers. I'm not. It's prawn crackers. Saucy. What's saucy? Dip the prawn crackers in sauce. Mm hmm. Oh dear. Oh, n wait! Oh! Oh, 
that's an emote. I don't know where you pick some of these emotes up from them. Channels do watch. Oh, that's an emote. That is an emote. Jesus. <sighs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> they got gift subs and that was their first that was their first emote their first one and they they went all in on that then jesus very intense <laughs> don't worry about it really know what you're trying to say porn crackers <laughs> people here it's like i was just weird no it's porn crackers it's not porn crackers <laughs> Oh. Oh. I've actually been up since 1am. Days are so early. Do in. Do in. Oh dear. I mean, it's a statement. It is, it is indeed a statement. I mean... Jam, hype, love, and huh. Yeah, the others are incredibly tame. And then you just have Jesus, like the chop immediately. Oh, my God, very intense. You know what? Maybe that's what they were just like, you know what? I'm gonna get an emote and this is what it's gonna be. It's gonna be this, it's gonna be hilarious. You know what? That It is, it's a statement. You see that emote drop somewhere and people be like, whoa, that isn't it's a statement. These boys get undonged. God. Intense. Wait, which one did I do? Oh, I didn't even do the last one. What am I doing? This is right. I'm not with it. What am I doing? Why did I just do one of the middle ones? <laughs> ah! <gasps> Don't. Done a silly I have. I've just randomly done one of the middle ones. I don't know why. It... <laughs> oh, I do. It do be like this sometimes, I suppose. I don't know why I've done this, but it's okay. It's okay. I can live with it. I can live with it. I can work. It's fine. It's fine. I can work through this. This ain't nothing. Nothing. I can work through this. <laughs> I'm just making my life more difficult for no reason. It's fine. It's fine. Eh. <laughs> oh. Kind of looks like a squid. It does, yeah. We said this before, but it, it. Whenever I lay all the wefts out, because of course I keep them joined at the top, which it does make it look better on the head, but um, because. When I keep them, because they get them joined at the top, it does. They look like little, uh, little, little, little squeeds. Oh, minimal high. Oh, munch the helikin. No way. Or oh, kin of the heli munch. Mm, never mind. Carry on. Move along. How you doing? Minimal. I hope you're having a good day. Um, welcome to this mess. Squid. Tra trashy squid. Come to trashy squid, with, with your host. Dead. <laughs> Dead and confused and making a mess. I don't know why I pinned it up the middle. But it's okay. I can I can work around. <laughs> oh. Yeah, hopefully this should be the last one today, minimal. Fingers crossed. I have I have fingers crossed. Because we've been working at this for long enough at this point. Arguably, this has been long enough. No more of this. Oh, that one wasn't pinned super well. Fix that. Please. Go. Yeah. That is better. Okay, now I really should be not pinning them up the middle. Uh, where should I pin them instead? Somewhere else. Um. Hmm. 
jump in it. I think, well first of all let's grab some longer ones. Um, <laughs> all the ones up here are kind of short. Uh, I think maybe grab this one, use that one and then use the rest of this one and do, yeah, yeah, yep, yeah. yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. that looks good. Not do the silly and randomly pin it at the side. <laughs> Wait, if the squid is on your head, is it eating your brain? Boy, I'm logic here. Uh, nah, because this is sewage. So, uh, I'm just putting sewage on my head. I think that's okay. I, th I think I think it's okay. I'm just I'm just I'm just putting putting sewage on my head. The, it's, the, it's not going to be a squid in the end. It, does it look like a squid? Yes. But is it a squid? No. It's sewage. <laughs> Just straight sewage. Was I in Daedalus's stream last, uh, raid last night? I was in the raid, yes, and I was there very briefly, but I didn't stay around too long, no, because um, it was kind of getting a little bit late and I was getting a bit tired. And also, I don't know, I, I, I kind of had a few other things to do. I was there, and then I left. Was it good? Was it a good stream though? After after Daedalus? Or, or Daedalus? 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 Oh dear. Damn you terrifying thing! Hello there! <laughs> oh dear. Yes. Oh, I am glad. Yeah, it seemed it seemed pretty hyped. It's because it was like a celebration of uh, another streamer. So it, it seemed it seemed like it was pretty hype. But yeah, I was just getting a little bit like I have I have things to take care of. I must go. Oh dear. Celebrate how one year affiliate. Yeah. Aww. Jelly said, "Oh dear, thirty nine times. Oh, it's it's gone over." We watched the, 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 the yeah, we're running clips. Yeah, with thirty nine. Did you guys stop counting after I left? Bob thinking of a new way to crash. Be like, oh dear. Oh wait, you got you got a little hand like. Oh, forty times. One of them accidentally got played. Yeah, I don't think anyone's been counting this morning, which is good. One of them accidentally got played about the video. I found it more entertaining without the video for content. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. The accidents make it better. <laughs> oh ho ho ho. Oh ho ho. Good stuff. No, I'm glad it went really, really well. Because that was the mod takeover, right? So I'm glad it went good. Casually, I'm putting sewage on my head. Everyone in 2020 also sewage. <laughs> yeah, you know what? It's fun having fun with cosplay. And this cosplay... The fun is becoming trash and putting sewage on head and things like that. Very fun, very fun. Wanna see, hear it? Give me two seconds to finish this ruffle. But yeah, that'd be cool. Oh yeah, and you got modded because of your beautiful resume. That was good. <laughs> oh. At this point in reality, I'd like to see sewage on my head as an improvement. <laughs> I mean, if it is if it is a if it is a ruffle sewage, I think it would be both comfortable because of the amount of padding and stuff like that that it would add to anyone's head. And I think that it would also be like a, an interesting accessory, so it's like kind of new fashion. <laughs> I don't know. I can't. I can't think of like. I think adding this to my head is going to be nothing but an improvement. Otherwise, why else would I do this? Oh, I'll whisper it. Okay, thank you. I'm already trashed though. Welcome. To welcome to 
the channel here where I am also trash. <laughs> Welcome to trash. I, I hope you enjoy your stay. <laughs> Uh, uh, I did. I got modded to a channel o over an hour before I followed. Yeah, I saw that. Actually, yeah, I was there for that. So I was there for like, yeah, you, seeing that you got mod, and then I watched you follow the channel after you were already mod, like after you were modded to the channel. And I was like, this is an order and a half. You hadn't even followed the channel, and you were modded. Water, trash, lamo. I mean, I can't speak for everyone. There are definitely some people in this channel that are probably not trash, but I am. Uh, just that good. You didn't even say anything. And you were just like, I'm mod, by the way. All right then. You didn't even do anything and you were already a mod. It's kind of hilarious though. Uh, it, was, it was great though. Uh, make mod plus. I don't know if I can do that for you, Shifty. Um, uh, I don't. I don't know if you. Do, I don't. I don't know if I can make you a mod on this channel. Uh, we don't. We don't really. You know, if somebody asks to be a mod, uh, I don't. I don't just. I don't just make them a mod. <laughs> so, so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. He had seen my resume. See, they didn't come and talk to me about you. I, I would have had so much to say. I'd have been like, well, on the channel today, he started adding all these commands, right? And you know, he hadn't asked me about adding any of these commands, but he suddenly started adding all these commands, right? And you know, most of them I was like, oh, you know what? It's a good laugh, right? It's a good laugh. I'll, I'll let it slip. I'll let it slip. It's a good laugh. But then he added this one right, and this one right. It it meant that it made it seem like that I really hated having him as a mod, right? And then he kept adding to it, right? Every time that uh, somebody new joined the chat, that he knew. Oh no, so that's a bit rude, isn't it? <laughs> no, I'm joking. I wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> oh dear. Ah. See, there it is. This bloody is. Oh dear. Did I see your resume when Di uh, Daedalus showed it? No, I did not. I did not see it. Oh. The lady of the lake gave me this mod sword. <gasps> I did indeed give the mod sword. Oh dear. Shifty Blue no. You good mod. Good mod. Oh dear. <laughs> what what do these mean for my personality as my most used emojis? I don't know. I, I think I don't think it means anything about your personality for the most part, because it's always such a range because you use different emojis for your different, uh, like when you're emoting for completely different things. So I don't think you could draw much from a personality except that you have a, a range of emotions that you use on a regular basis, which I think is most people. Oh dear. To be fair, you were going on a rant about me. This is true. <laughs> but it was all in jest. It was all in jest. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> Thank you, much appreciate. Anytime. Very <laughs> uh, <laughs> That being said, you did also add add word, which is to be quite fair, the best command that we currently have. I can't be too angry because you know without 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 them we wouldn't have adword so you know honestly what would this channel be without adword at this point now he has only been here for one day but that might be a bit of a grand statement but you know <laughs> another win for the collection god damn it 
Zero. Zero. <laughs> How do you do this? <laughs> How do you do this? Oh, it means to me that I used all those to spam my friend when we had a contest of who could text the most nonsense or oh, nor. See, spam chat not good. Spam chat not good. Spam and chat you get, you get timed out or banned, man. I mean, I, obviously it's different in different chats, but I feel like in most chats that's the way that it goes. Uh, I don't know what it actually does. It was suggested to another thing I tried to add. What well, add word? <laughs> oh dear. I I don't know. I, I, I'm not sure. I'm, <laughs> I'm not sure why why it was there either. I just remember it coming up around the same time you were doing the uh, the commands. I think it was for Dem Regret. It, it, it popped up, so I don't know exactly what it was for either. I just realised with all these points, why am I sending messages like Common Ravel? Whoa! Add word, add prawn. Invalid parameter possible. Parameters add, delete. Please don't add prawn. <laughs> why would? Why do we need prawn? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> oh dear. Uh. Oh, also, I saw with channel points, they now had like um, a slightly new thing you could do with channel points. Uh, when I was adding things last night, they had like boss things you could do with channel points where you could do like really big overarching things where people could um, all go in together to like get one thing, if that made sense. So you could like put, donate points together to get one end goal. That was kind of interesting. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what that big end goal would be, but like, I, I don't know, I thought it was an interesting idea. Oh, I just want to see what it would do. Shifty, that's very good. <laughs> was like, got goshi? <laughs> oh dear, yeah, we just said, oh, this private text and me and my friends had spam contests way too much in a group chat. That's fair enough. Okay, fair. I was gonna say, if you're doing that in like Twitch chat, I feel like you're gonna get banned instantly, man. But nah, fair. If it's in a private chat, that's fair. Uh. Oh. We don't flaunt our channel points around here like that. It's a bit. <laughs> no, for me. I just wanted to see what it could do. Nah, dude, that's fair. Uh. Oh. Yeah, I saw there was like these big like boss things you could do. I want to see on someone else's channel to see like what kind of things people are doing with it or if they're using it or not. <laughs> I'm curious. I'm curious what people are doing. I want to see if people are using it or not. I mean, I really don't know how I could use it, but <laughs> I'm curious. Need a hot chockey? Go get a hot chockey. Do it. Very important. <laughs> Stay hydrated. <laughs> oh. Okay. This one always seems to be really thick compared to all the other ones. I, I don't know if maybe I cut it like half an inch thicker than the other. <laughs> it's always really, really annoyingly thick compared to the rest of them. And so it becomes kind of a nightmare to pin it. Kitties, hi! How are you doing? I hope you're having a good day. <laughs> yeah, from that to hot jockey. You know, it's important to have diverse language. Very important. Oh dear. Thick. Yeah, this is a, a thick... It's, it's like a really thick cut ribbon. I don't... <laughs> I don't know what I did. I, it was one of the first ones I cut though, so... Maybe I did just cut it a little extra thick and then I, I went to slightly thinner. Ribbons? I don't know. I'm not sure, but whatever it is, it's cut thick and it's kind of a nightmare because it overlaps some of the other ones because of the size of it. Don't get me wrong, it's pretty, but like, it, it's just the size of it is a bit of a nightmare because it doesn't match up with the thicknesses of the other ones. Oh. Uh, 
did I hear Christopher Eccleston's coming back as Doctor Who? I think I did see it mentioned. Um, it's exciting. But yeah. It's exciting. We'll see, pop star. <laughs> Damn it. Well, this one's quite a long one, though, actually. This is actually stretched quite far. This, this weft is going to be kind of crazy because I've used so many scraps near the end, so there's loads of, like... Bits and bobs at the end of these ones. Oh, absolutely dem. I am a man of the people. I have hot chockies, not warm Belgian ganache beverages. Oh my god. Oh my god. That does sound good though. That does sound good though. I've only seen the first three episodes of Doctor Who. Yeah, this is fair. Like, it, it's it's not gonna be for everyone. Like, I'm not up to date with it at all at this point because, uh, as we've said before. Oh dear. A poster check! We can do a poster check! I'm sorry, thank you, Zay! You can see I just slowly, like, slouch. Slowly shout. Oh dear. Oh, Belgian chocolate. Yeah, that's a Oh. Sounds really good. Oh. Right, I know what I'm looking for. In the in the bin of sewage. This is what I want. I want this. I want it. But I want a longer one. I'm sure there must be a longer one of that. Oh, these two short ones. I mean I could potentially sew two short ones together, but I'm sure there must be some longer ones of that. Mm. Nope, just a load of short ones apparently. Okay, that's fine. Uh Mm. Oh dear, I liked it. I just feed to start in the middle and 800 episodes are long. It's a big commitment. It is. It's fair. It's, again, it's completely fair. Um, oh dear. Oh, Danton, no, thank you for the follow. It's very kind of you. Hi. I need to dig out my hot chocolate. I'm making set. Making set? Ooh. I watched that Doctor Who episode with the statues blink. Oh, that was a scary one. Anything with the weeping angels is terrifying. Not keen. Very spooky. Big spooks. Not keen. Oh dear. The Jackie, hi! How are you doing? I hope you're having a good day. Oh, I got a blueberry hot muffin hot chocolate in my cupboard. Shifty, that's very, very intense. Ooh. 41 times. Oh my god. Rosa, I did that being a nerd of a lot of food time. Oh, fair enough. Forgot to update it. I actually do have some hot chocolate from Paris. Oh, hot chocolate from Paris. Danton, hello. Hi, how you doing? Welcome. We are actually finishing near the last weft. These things take a heckin' long time to make. I can't even tell you they take a heckin' long time to make. I might actually. How do we feel about just a full sparkly one? Is it a bit much? Is it a bit much? I don't think it is. I think we could do just a full sparkly one. I haven't done a full sparkly one. I kind of feel like it. Weeping Angels are awesome, but they've only been used like three times in the entire program. Yes, yeah, it's true. Um, my hot chocolate making set at the moment is a kettle, some drinking chocolate, and a steamed milk function on my coffee machine. Which, to be fair, is pretty cool. See, I really like the hotel chocolate stuff. I really, really like hotel chocolate. And yeah, big fan. Big, big fan. Nope, that's not gonna work actually. Change mind, not gonna work. Um, it's a brand of hot chocolate and it's just, oh, it's so good, so good. Yeah, I really, I really like it. They make very tasty stuff basically. It's just really, really tasty. Really good, uh, but it is a bit more expensive, but it's really creamy. Really tasty. Do we not have any, sorry, I'm just gonna get the bin right up on the desk. This is where a lot of my sewage is. Um, do we not have any of the more unique pieces? Oh yeah, we have this one. Okay, that one can go on now. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. Oh dear. Sparkles! We don't have too many sparkles in it yet. But there is time. I just need to get some buttons with like airplanes and uh, bits and bobs like that in it and then I can put like houses and airplanes and stuff like that within the sewage to look like they got dragged in the sewage. <laughs> Little buttons. 
To the weft, to the weft! So crazy. <laughs> that was there. There. <laughs> Why? I want to read comics, watch the stream, and draw. Is it possible? We'll see! I believe in you! But if you need to leave, please go. They all sound like great things to do. I do suppose I could watch them all at two times speed. Then that's only committing to like, oh! Oh dear. Alright, BRB! Yeah, you get your hot chockey! Good expensive stuff is worth it. Oh. Yeah, it is. It is. She has hot chocolate. I don't know. I like it. I like a and hotel chocolate do some nice flavors as well. And and they're all kind of like your standard hot chocolate flavors. Don't get me wrong. Like you know, salted caramel things like that. But like they're good, good, creamy. Mm. They're not too labor intensive to make either. Considering I I feel like with some of them they're like you know you need to do this that the other. It's it's really not too bad. You use milk, but it, it's good and. Oh, it's just, I think it's about £9 for a pot, but the pot does last you a fair amount of time. And it's all like shaved chocolate. And it's good. So good! It's so good, but sometimes I'll go on offers and you can get like buy one, get one half price, stuff like that. And that tends to be when I pick them up because they're a bit cheaper. Mm -mm. So good! Where's my hot chockey? No, I can only offer you a tea. I can offer you a tea if you like. Or do you still have your tea? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Never tried Hotel. The Wittards do amazing hot chocolate. They do. It, it's kind of along the same sort of line. If you like the Wittards one, you might like the Hotel chocolate. The Wittards is just a little bit more... Um, a little bit more, I want to say like on the bitter side of chocolate whereas like not in a bad way not in a bad way but like it's like that side of it whereas the hotel chocolate is a bit more on the sweet side so if you prefer sweeter chocolate you might prefer that if you prefer that slightly more bitter chocolate you might prefer the other one but i don't mean it in like a bad way like wittars is bad chocolate it's not it's just like different chocolate uh my pencil is missing found it ah saga is over <laughs> oh dear. this is me I, I don't normally lose uh, my pencil but I lose my eraser all the time all the time um, I have so many as well <laughs> I went through a phase of collecting erasers because I I say I went through a phase I'm still in this phase but um, you know there are a lot of shops that do like really really cute erasers where they're like in the shape of like whale sharks and stuff like that I love those. I love the really cute erasers where they're like animals or stuff like that. And so I just collect, if I see in the shop and it's like 50p and it looks like a cute animal, I'm like, okay, I'll take that eraser for sure. I'll be, that will be mine. I don't need another one, but then I, I will lose them like nothing else. So, clearly I need that many. Hot chocolate expert, not hot chocolate expert, not hot chocolate expert. I, I'm, I've got like a really bad sense of taste to be quite honest. But um, I just, between the two, I like, I think I like hotel chocolate because I like the really sweet one. <laughs> I don't know, I'm normally not a sweet person, but something about it, I was just like, yeah, I like this one. But the Wittards one's really good as well, and when I can't get the hotel chocolate one for any reason, I'll get the Wittards one. Like, we've got the Wittards one right now. <laughs> so, like, I do like it, though. But, um... Oh. But both be good. They're just, they're just slightly different. And in, in our experience, the Wittards one is just a little bit less sweet. Which is fine. Sometimes you don't want it to be super, super, super sweet. I mean, it's not even super sweet. I, I say both of them are like, just very good. But, you know, different chocolate, I guess, tastes different, doesn't it? But, I mean, I like chocolate. So if someone gives me chocolate, I'm like, yay! <laughs> Regardless, I'm like, yay! 
ditching the comic, it won't load. Oh no. I'm sorry that your comic won't load. That's no good. Oh. So I'm still in like the in gear of like loud noise outside, thunder? No, it's truck. <laughs> you know. Uh, got my chalky time to defend my crown. I believe in you. You get those wins. I mean, you do seem to be getting those wins with whether you have belief or not, but I still believe in you. <laughs> uh, design is already sassy. <gasps> uh, is that in your comic? I'm curious. Comic sounds good. I could never do such a, a long, a long style of design, but I, I, I like see. I mean, I don't really read that many comics, but I like manga a lot. <laughs> Which is kind of similar to comics, I suppose. It's just a little different. Oh. No, my drawing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're drawing, not the comic. What are you drawing? What you drawing? Oh. But yeah, I do, I do be liking, liking the manga, though. I recently read... Because we have, I don't remember what it's called, but you can get like a subscription to Shonen Jump online. So we have that. So we read a lot of those. And I recently read the A Promised Neverland from that. And that was pretty good. I like that a lot. Of course, I'm not going to spoil any of it, but like that a lot. That was really good. Big enjoyment on that one. Like recently I found myself reading a lot more of them. <laughs> I think because I can kind of put it down and pick it up at my own pace. Anyone that's been here for a while knows that I'm just an absolute awful person when it comes to watching things. Because I, I've mentioned it a fair few times, but like, I pause things non-stop. Like, I've got proper issues with watching things. I'm just terrible. I'm just terrible. I can't stop pausing things and like doing other things. I always have like a hundred tabs open because... I, I, nothing holds my attention for more than like two seconds. I'm terrible. Um, but yeah. Comic is BL. Sassy skeleton. Oh, fair enough. Sassy skeleton. Oh. oh, I saw the anime. Nice. Well, no, no spoilers, but like, um, because there will, of course, be people that haven't seen it. But yeah, it was really good. I really enjoyed it. Like, when the second season of the anime comes out, I'll probably tune into that see how that plays out but it was nice reading the whole the whole mango <laughs> manga like that was really that was really cool nice i liked it what was the first cosplay you were proud of making i've been proud of every cosplay <laughs> i mean the thing is at every stage of me making something there's been something that i've been proud of in it because it's not like at any point with me making cosplays there was one that, you know, when I made a cosplay, when I first made it, like that was the best thing that I'd ever made. So I was really proud of it. Um, and whenever I'm working on a new cosplay, maybe not so much these ones because they're not pushing me out so much. But normally it's like, with the big costumes, it's always the best thing that I've ever made. Um, so it's like, I'm always insanely proud of, of the biggest costume. And when I made my first costume, that was the best costume I ever made. And then my second costume was the best costume I ever made. And then my third costume was the best costume I ever made. <laughs> and so I was always proud of them because they were always the best costume I ever made. Obviously, looking back, there's like a huge amount of faults. And even at the time, I knew there were things wrong with it. But like also, it was the best costume I ever made. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I was very proud. Oh, dear. Mikey Meg Mikey Mega Mega is a spicy artist, not sure it's similar it's similar to Sassy. Are you too proud of them all? Yeah. I think it's like they're going wrong. Like I, I, I there were definitely parts when I was making stuff where I definitely picked a lot of holes in what I was making a lot more. Like I went through phases of like really digging holes in the stuff that I made, but like um I I've always kind of I, I think with cosplay as well, because I've tried to push it more, especially recently, in finding areas that I don't know as well. At least in one area, there's I've tried something completely new, 
and so it's the first time I've done something and or it's the best I've ever done at that particular thing so it's like there's always something where I'm proud of very one particular part so even if something's gone very wrong I'm proud of something <laughs> um like you know I make a lot of wigs now that aren't made of hair um but like I've never made a wig out of ruffles <laughs> and stuff like that you know and I've made a lot of ball gowns but I've never made a ball gown which includes bin bags <laughs> and stuff like that to try and like you know like it, you know this, this is this isn't going to be a costume that pushes the boundaries out so far for me but like there'll definitely be, be bits that like I will be specifically proud of and those will probably be the two bits that I'll be more proud of um because I've never done it before yeah Oh, that's good. I'm really critical of my work, so I can't fully enjoy what I've made. Oh, I am sorry to hear that, Dunton. I, I definitely had... I, I don't know if I want to call it a phase, because I'm still pretty highly critical of parts of it. But there were definitely times when I was more critical. Yeah, critical is a good way of putting it. M more down on you know, the work that I was making, like the stuff that I was doing. Um... Like I, I wasn't as happy wearing it or I, I'd focus more focus yeah I'd focus more on the points that I was like although this might be like good for me it wasn't good overall but at the end of the day it was still the best that I'd ever done and I kind of had to try and focus on that and like the stuff like you know <laughs> I, I guess but yeah, don't get me wrong, it's not like it's not like I'm looking at every costume being like masterpiece. Like I'm literally making trash. <laughs> but I, I yeah. Fatality. I think at this point my main goal is to make costumes that are fun. If they can be funny as well. Top. But comfortable. Comfortable has to come first. And a lot of them I want to be slightly quicker. If I can make them a little bit quicker, some of them, and have an overarching costume going on in the background that takes a lot longer, that's kind of like what I want. That's what I want. I want that balance of like making two or more costumes, so two to three costumes on the go at once. Um, and one of them has to be much quicker. So for instance, one's like, like the one I'm making right now, because I don't want to be spending more than a month on one of my costumes. You should find the faults to improve the future, but don't let them take away from being proud of yourself. Yeah, it's like really difficult to do that. Like that's a that's a really difficult thing to do a lot of the time, because of course you're constantly staring at the work that you do. So it's like really easy to be like, you know, this isn't good. Like even right now I could be like the fact that I'm not using the same stitch color to do the zigzag onto the um, onto the base fabric could be considered like a big fault on what I'm doing right now. That could be considered like something where I could be improving and stuff like that. But I kind of made the conscious decision early uh, in that if I was changing the stitch color every time I went over the fabric, it'd be adding a lot of time onto the project, which I chose not to do. And that I was just going to ignore that that was something that was probably going to happen. And there's a few other things that I've chosen that I am doing specifically to cut that time out so that I'm not spending more time on this costume because I don't want it to take longer than a month. And by doing, you know, by doing things like not changing the color of the thread when going over these different colors, it doesn't take away from my enjoyment of wearing the costume as a whole. So I think it's okay. But, you know, as far as perfectionism goes, yes, I can see that there is parts where this thread really doesn't match the fabric that it's sewing over. If this was a competition piece, there is no way in hell I would be doing this. But it's not, and so there is no point in me striving for that. I want to have fun with this. If I was changing the bobbin and the top thread every single time to match the, the fabric underneath and the fabric on top, I would not be having fun doing this, and I'm not going to do that to myself for something where I'm literally trying to have fun. <laughs> But yeah, at, at least that's what I'm trying to do. But like, it's, it's easy to, to, to see it and be like, I'm worried. <laughs> I know it's there. Oh dear. Okay. 
5 a.m. drawing time. Ah, it's so early. Working on it. Yeah, it's it's a. I don't think I ever quite got away from it. Like, there's still like again, there's, there's lots of things that I notice in the stuff that I'm doing where I'm like, this isn't perfect. This isn't perfect. This isn't perfect. This isn't perfect. And like my ruffles, they're not even. They're very uneven. Um, and like I can make excuses for it. Like, well, it's trash, right? Like, it's okay for the ruffles to be uneven. If anything, it'll add to the overall unevenness of the sewage. <laughs> but if this was a competition piece, there's no way in hell I would have done this. And like, you know, I, it would be easy for me to beat myself up over that. But I think by doing a competition piece at the same time where I am keeping everything perfect and like really working at doing that, and then having this piece where I can just have fun and not worry about it, it's like... It stops me taking out my perfectionism on this piece and I can just stop and have fun. Because, yeah, with this piece, I, I do feel like I can just stop and have fun and not worry about all these little things where it's like, I would never do this, I would never do that, and you know. When I do wear these pieces that are much quicker, yeah, there's a lot of issues with them. Often they're not lined, things like that, because I'm looking to make them quickly and just have them look good. But then I have my competition piece which I can fall back on and I feel really good in and I'm like yeah this looks great and also is great <laughs> oh Dills hi how you doing I hope you're doing well it's been a nice balance for me for now anyway like I still like to work more on just feeling confident <laughs> in like if I make a mistake that's fine but like I'm getting there I'm getting there Artists be like it difficult. I think also as well because like I don't know what it's like for anyone else, but like if you put your, your your work online and you don't expect to receive criticism, like oh, eventually it gonna happen. But it's actually kind of been all right. I don't know. Most of the time when it's happened, it's been like pretty pretty okay. I've not taken it so hard as I thought I would. I think because it's been on things where I've been like, yeah, I could see that being the case, but it doesn't bother me because I've kind of already seen that and been like, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> oh dear. I didn't really draw anything for almost six years-ish because not only was I critical of myself, but one of my exes is something that cut me a little bit. Oh, damn. Yeah, it, if, if someone says, this is the thing when i say i've received criticism it's like none of the things that have hit me they've not been on things that i feel like would have actually hit hard and they're things i've already recognized in myself in my creations and i'm like that's fine i know that this wasn't good and it's like that i'm looking to improve and so as you know when people point out things that aren't looking great that they are correct and it doesn't hit me too hard because I know that this is something that I need to improve and I'm like happy to try and improve it. She drew something really cool and I said that's really cool I wish I could draw that and she said yeah well you don't really take it seriously you just mess around. I did take it seriously and I tried my best and the fact that it was thought it looked so bad it was consumed I was just screwing around it hurt and I felt embarrassed of my work. Yeah that's a really that's a really harsh a really harsh statement to make about someone else's art to be quite honest um i think just assuming that someone else is just screwing around is often not the case um and i think also most people don't have the same art as someone else i mean there's a lot of very very similar art styles don't get me wrong but you know it it's not really how it works it's not really how it works and I'm really, I'm sorry that that happened, but I'm glad that you're drawing again now because it's been really nice to see the work that you do. And I don't think that that was deserved because from the same sounds of it, the fact that you've shown so much, it's kind of clear that you do draw a lot and that, that wasn't really deserved. <laughs> but hey, at least, at least that it is an X because someone who makes that kind of comment doesn't seem to have you in mind. At least not, not that I could see. 
Oh dear. Yeah, I... This is the thing. You post your work online and I think 99% of the comments you'll get generally are quite often from other artists and they will be pretty encouraging because you don't... When you see someone post that art, first of all, it's nice to see. <laughs> it's lovely to see art. I like seeing art online. I get most of my inspiration from seeing other artists. So it's, it's nice to see art online because it's a great way of gaining inspiration for your own art. Um, so that's, that's great. <laughs> Incredibly useful for yourself, but also it's just lovely to see. Um, but then you leave comments that like liking it generally being like, you know, thank you for sharing. I really like this. I really love this. Can I take inspiration for this? I really like this part. And you know, normally in my mind, if you're leaving feedback, it's normally only if it's been asked for. I think is, is generally the most polite way of doing it. I think leaving feedback where it's not been asked for is normally a little rude. But um, I could see in a relationship maybe it happening more, but mm, online, I, I tend to just be you get nice. It's a nice supportive community for the most part. Again, as with any community, there are definitely bad people. <laughs> but generally, Good people supporting good people, and I don't know. I like seeing I like seeing creative things. It's inspiring, and it's sad when you hear stories like that of artists just getting put down when they are, you know, still learning. It's not good. Oh dear, the naysayer. Hi, how you doing? Welcome. I hope you're having a good day. We have actually just made, I think, the last weft. I'm pretty sure we have anyway. Oh dear. She wasn't a great person. She didn't mean more emotionally. Physically, she got knocked. Oh dear. Oh dear, okay. Yeah, that's not great. That's not, that's not great. Oh dear. Well. Yeah, she wasn't a great person though. There you go. It kind of says it all. Like, artist or not, doesn't matter if you're a bad person, you say nasty things, huh? It could have been about any hobby at the end of the day, she probably would have said rubbishy things to you if you tried it. It's just a shame that it had to be something that you were, you know, kind of passionate about. <laughs> yeah, like you said, it could really put you off it. Oh dear. Is what it is, yeah. Oh, so I'm just trying to find all the pins in this now because I want to put it with all of the other wefts so you can see all the wefts that we've done before I end the stream. I want to, I want to show you everything that we've done. We've done so many and I want to show you all of them but I can't do it when there are still this many pins in it because it would be dangerous. I'd be showing you danger and that's no good. I can't be doing that can't be showing you the danger. I just have to show you something safer. Right, come on now. Where are they? It's always difficult the second time around because I can't look at the back to see where all the pins are hiding. Whereas the first time around, I can look at the back. <laughs> and it makes it a whole lot easier. Nope, that one. Uh, that one. Yep, there's one in there. Little blue one. Um, and then we got loads in this one. We got lots of the red ones. And the orange. And some pinks. Oh dear. And that reminds me of the top right in the closet. No! These, that's no good. Oh, and then we have blue, 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 blue. All of these ones at the end are blue. Okay, that makes that nice and easy. Is that everything? Is that all of them? Oh no, there's one right at the end. Oh, and I can see one in the middle there. Oh, oh, 
Oh, Tap, thank you for the host right at the end. I hope you're doing good. We're just going to show all of the wefts that we've made. I think that might be the last one. I hope you're doing good, though. Looking good, thank you. Damn, that sucks. Yeah, good morning. I'm so excited to see you often for your last weft. Bad time. Bad time. Oh, dear. Right, let me move everything to the side. We don't have anything blocking the view. And if I move these up here, probably don't need this one. And move these. And I'll go to. Kitty's gonna head off now. See you, kitties. It was lovely to see you. Enjoy the rest of your day. I only got back into art after my self was. And forced me to correct mistakes. Nice. Experience small straight lines. Once I close the book for the day, I'm not allowed to return to the picture. That's a good one. That's a really good one, that last one. Like, you're done, you're done. Right. Okay. Okay. So we have all the wefts, but I'm just going to unpin them from the mannequin. Because I want to make sure that we've not got any pins left in any of these because oh, otherwise danger yeah I think the not returning to the picture is a really really good one because otherwise yeah we would you'd it's difficult sometimes to know when to stop or when it like especially with corrections things like that so difficult oh dear we're in the art attack camera we are in the art attack camera because there's a lot of wefts Kit Kat just woke up after a migraine saw you streaming I'm so sorry, Kit Kat. I hope you are feeling a little bit better and you don't have too much of a migraine hangover. But we've just actually finished the last weft. So I think so I'm going to show everyone. Oh dear. Right. I'm going to pull out the bowl of paper mache. Shadow puppet time. Yeah, we could do like shadow puppets. <laughs> oh dear. Right. These are all of our wefts. So we have some of the long ones. Long bean weft. This is one of our thin bean wefts. He's only got four. And then we have another bean. That's a, a thicker bean weft. Put that next to him. There we go. Start building up these wefts. And that should stretch around the back. Then we have another thin bean weft. Oh, so thick. So thick. <laughs> and then we have oh another thin bean weft. Oh, another one. And then this is a thicker bean weft, but it's a little bit shorter. And we have another shorter one. And then we have another shorter one. <laughs> See how these are building up really fast, huh? <laughs> they build up so fast. And then we have another one, but I think I've just noticed a pin in it. Yeah, we have got a pin in it. And then we have this one. Oh, I've noticed a pin in it too. Okay. This is the thing with having just done this last one. Still got some pins in it. Ah! Pin in there. I see you. I see you, Mr. Red Pin. There we go. Get out of there. There we go. That's a whole mountain of wefts. Whole mountain of wefts. Oh, Blockers, hi! How you doing? Oh, dear. My silhouette. <laughs> this is a mountain. And I don't know how you see how many how thick this is but like the idea of having all this on my head is quite a lot quite a lot <laughs> oh dear oh, oh hi Debbie oh hi how you doing <laughs> who could have said my art and make it my goal to do whatever in spite of them whoa spite art oh dear I'm oh dear thick and thin oh would make for a weird trashy hula skirt. It would. I am okay, thank you, Blockers. We're doing a slightly shorter stream today because unfortunately I've been a bit faint this morning. And so I want to take a bit like of a <laughs> bit of a care day. But we've finished, I think, all the wefts. You can kind of see how they look, but what I'll do is I'll go to face cam. Because what I'll do, I'll grab some of these. <laughs> a bit. <gasps> how we look it? <laughs> Do we, do we look good? Can you still hear me? Yeah. 
<laughs> it's a bit dark. But, oh, there I am. Yeah. But you can kind of see what I mean when I say it's like pretty damn thick. Like, it, it's thick. This is probably my favorite at the moment for those who aren't in the Discord. Nice. Thank you for posting your art. Oh dear, will your head handle all the weft heft? We shall see. We shall see. Oh dear. Make sure to rest and hydrate. Don't worry, I have been resting and hydrating. Very earthy. Are they really heavy? So they're actually not that heavy at all. But um, having them on my head for a while, it might start to to weigh a bit more. But they're not too bad. They look, they look creepy. <laughs> creepy, thank you. Oh dear. But yeah, so this is, this is kind of, you know, if you imagine having them in like bunches as well, that's kind of what we're going to be doing and just having them like come down from the head over that. So they end up being really quite thick, which is why I was like, I think we're pretty done. I don't think I want too much more than this. My head's going to be big. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, thank you, Dem. <laughs> and thank you, Terp. And Dan Ten and Kit Kat and Mesa, that's very kind of you. But yeah, there's probably there's probably us done. We got we got we got a good amount. We got so much. And the next session now will be taking those and sewing them kind of similar to what we did with Corva Squire, where we took the wefts <clears throat> and sewed them in lengths onto the head. But with Corva Squire we had hundreds of of lines. Whereas this, it's gonna be like eight. <laughs> so It'll be a bit quicker and then once that's done we can start maybe making the mask and then and then and the balls for the head because we need a little headband and yeah i don't know if i mentioned yesterday i started bleach dyeing yes and sewing some hats and working on combining the panels but the two flannels yes you did mention but i'm glad to have that oh, oh dear thanks for the follow i read it oh dear and yeah, shout out for Terp, thank you. And so Shifty Blue, thank you. Yeah, so the, on the design we have like a mask and they're going over here with like teeth on it. And then I forgot to put like the little, we're doing little like, um, kind of like space buns. So I need to do that because that was on the original design. But I forgot to put it onto the drawing. So I need, I need to make those. Uh, so that's probably going to be in the next stream, which will be on Monday now, because the next stream is on Friday, but that's for making the Bard cosplay, which is the, the bigger cosplay. Thank you, might be streaming later! I probably... so... <laughs> I will try and catch it. There's a good chance I may be out, um, because I'm going to try and sleep, and then we might, if I'm well enough, going to go to Hobbycraft still. I still want to go to Hobbycraft, but we're going to see. We're going to see. Oh, dear. Oh, yes! And the Dem shout out. They were playing Ghost. Ghost you know. Oh dear. Live for the fun buns. <laughs> we have the little fun buns. Oh dear. Let's handle up the weft heft. <laughs> oh, look at that spoon. Oh, oh, Dem. Oh, Dem. He, he's not happy. He's, he's not he's not the happy. Oh dear. But, um. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Right. Oh, thank you so much everyone who did turn up. Right, who are we going to raid today? Um, kind of fancy finding someone new today. Fancy finding a new beam. Um, or someone we haven't, haven't, have not raided before. Because it's been a bit, I don't know, it's been a weird day. It'd be nice if we found somebody new. That'd be kind of nice. Oh dear. Also, is there a link to the Discord I can copy? The link didn't work. Oh, did it not? Um. Oh no. Want nerdy music? I love nerdy music. Yeah, that would be good. Um. If this one doesn't work, this is the only one we have. Um. I don't know if you used that one though. I'll ch I was checking the chat. Um. Oh dear. Ah, uh, there was an error. Sorry, I'm so sorry, Kit Kat. Oh dear, nerdy singer Kate. Oh, is she live right now? Let's go, let's go. We'll do, we'll do some, some for nerdy singer Kate then. That sounds fun. 
I could do with some nice things because you know what it's been long long morning already but yeah the next stream for Garbador will be on Monday and then um, the next stream on the channel will be on Friday which is for Bard which is where we're just continuing to make the guitar it's a long it's a long I'm gonna see if I can pick up some uh, like woody vinyl oh brilliant I'm glad Kit Kat um, see if I can pick up some vinyl sort of woody stuff for that uh, today if I can get to Hobbycraft we'll see how I'm doing we shall see and yeah thank you everybody who turned up today and I look forward to seeing everyone another time where I can do a slightly longer stream sorry it was so short today normally I do like to go for a little bit longer but <laughs> I appreciate everybody who turned up nonetheless and chatted and lurked and thank you Dan I hope everyone has enjoys the rest of their day and yeah let's go send oh yeah C0 to you Dan 10 Let's go send lots of love to um, Nerdy Singer Kate. Oh, good morning. Yeah, <laughs> good morning, Mesa. <laughs> and thank you, Turp, for coming in right at the end. Yeah, let's, let's go see Kate now. I'll see everybody soon. <laughs>